If this is just a quick movie to show you how Prime Enhance, our special denoising function on the Photometrics Prime camera, is working and operating inside Olympus CellSense software. So, before we get to that, let's have a look back at the camera. So we have this high QE, this low read noise, big full well, massive sensor, this really nice 4.2 SCMOS sensor in it. Inside it is the difference between us and other people. We have this Prime Enhance, we have this Locate, this multi-ROI. Other than that, we made the camera quite nice. We put all these mounting points everywhere around it, which is pretty good. Good C-mount on the front. On the back, we give you on the same camera, one price, one product. PCI Express for 100 frames a second or USB 3 for 30 frames a second. If you want to do 30 frames a second or higher, just put the card in. You're going to run this on a decent PC anyway. Pop the card in and you're up and running. Calling. We've got minus 10 calling for air. In fact, we think it might end up at about minus 15. We have really good calling, actually. We have the market leading calling. And liquid calling, minus 25. Again, I think that's market leading as well. We've got some really cool triggers in this as well. We've got the effective global shutter, and we have this ability to do multiple expose outs for when you want to do kind of high-speed triggers and so on. Uh, maybe multi-channel really fast. And we have a video for that as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the Prime and hearts. What are we doing? We're moving from a situation where we have a large amount of noise and reducing that noise with the same exposure time. And critically, we're keeping these, ex these intensity levels all the same. So let's have a look a little bit more at this then. Let's go in more and go, well, what are our, what is the noise sources? Where do we get them? And this has been going for years. Camera manufacturers have been very good at explaining noise and we put these things on our spec sheets. So read noise, typically one to one and a half electrons. We actually have some of the lowest statistics for our fastest mode. That's really nice to be kind of, again, market leading on that. Again, on the dark current, on the dark current, again, this is again a very small number. We have the great calling. We're 0.06 electrons per pixel per second or less. And again, these numbers are really small. Yeah, that's the great thing. Years ago, read noise would be 12 electrons. Years ago, dark current, one electron. You know, we've really reduced those. What's left? Well, really, shot noise. And shot noise is the square root of the signal. And this becomes the remaining problem. So when we look at this, if you've got a small signal, like 25 electrons of signal, right? Yeah, it's probably coming from, say, 35, 40 photons, whatever we do when we do conversions. Here, you're going to get five electrons of shot noise. So when you've got this tiny signal of 25, look, your read noise doesn't have any effect anymore. If that's one off, it doesn't matter. Dark current doesn't really have that much effect. It's good for reducing speckle and image quality. That's true. That's true, that's very important, but really your dominant source of noise is going to be around here. When you have a 100 electron signal, still a small signal, right? You've got 10 electrons of short noise. So short noise is the dominant noise source, and that's what Prime Enhance does. It's a computational algorithm that works on the camera, in the camera, inside FPGA, inside the camera, and we are reducing the shot noise. It's, it's quantitative, which is great, which means we preserve all those intensity values. We're not kind of mucking around with that. You can still use the values. We maintain the, the kind of finer features. And this is a published algorithm. This has been worked by a number of different people. It came from the INIRIA, and it's also been kind of worked with Institute Curie for showing how it's useful inside biology. It's a good bit of kit. It's really nice. So let's show you how it works inside CellSense. So here we've got CellSense. Let's just go live and let's go to Im Oh, just check 500 milliseconds. Image auto contrast. Right now we can see the image. So let's start off by reducing this. We want to go to 50 milliseconds. That's much more like it. We can see the noise there. Majority of that is shot noise. Let's put a line profile on. It's a good way to show this. Put the line profile on, drag it over an area of structure, and let's just go down here and we'll see the enhance. We'll take it off the fast mode, and now we can instantly see the image much, much calmer, much less noise in it. That's what you get with everyone else. That's the same. You can turn it off if you want, and this is when it's on. Again, let's just ping it back to it, and we can see much greater control. Now, a nice way of kind of showing that is to go and look at what you would need to get to that. So let's try, let's try in here, maybe 250 milliseconds. Okay, so 250 milliseconds, that's nearly as good as 50 with Prime Enhance. So let's go 350 milliseconds. Again, 350 milliseconds is getting there, but you know, sometimes it takes up to 10 times the exposure times to get as good as our camera with Prime Enhance on, depending on the light level, depending where you are. But particularly in these low levels, it's really, really useful. That's everyone else, and again, we turn it on, take it off that mode, and we're straight in there, and we have a much nicer image to work with. Really great. We hope you enjoy this, guys. Thanks very much. Bye.